hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is gonna be a cook supper and dessert with me something like that um I'm about to cook supper and then I'm gonna make a dessert afterwards um today is Easter Sunday so happy Easter to everybody um, Easton is playing his game, so if you hear any clicking or rattling or anything like that, that's what that is. But yeah, I just wanted to bring you guys along and give you a recipe to try out if you want to. So let's get started, because I'm hungry. So tonight we're going to have creamy chicken Ritz casserole. Um, here's the ingredients that you will need if you want to make this. Three to four chicken breast, one cup of sour cream, a can of cream of chicken soup, one sleeve of Ritz crackers, and half a stick of butter. Um, and here's the directions. I will type all this and put it in the description box if y'all want to make this and you want to, like, follow along with the recipe. But, um, yeah, I've never had this, or I think I've... I think I've had it before, but I've never made it, so it's going to be interesting. I think I got this recipe from my mother-in-law, um, so yeah, I've got my pot going, waiting on it to boil so that I can put the chicken in there, um, and then here's the other stuff that's going to go in the mixture, cream of chicken, sour cream, and then Ritz crackers. Alright, so now that my water is boiling, I'm going to go ahead and put the chicken breasts in there to cook. Um, the recipe calls for three to four chicken breasts, but I couldn't find a package of four. So I'm going to do this and try to do this one-handed. So, yeah, like that is a huge chicken breast. So into the pot. It goes, whoa. Okay, that's close. But I'm just going to let this go for probably about 20 minutes. Um, and then I'll check it to make sure it's fully cooked. In the meantime, I will go ahead and um, make the mixture. Oh, and at this time, you need to preheat your oven. If yours is like mine, it takes forever to preheat. So I'm going to go ahead and start it now while the chicken is cooking. Okay, so for the mixture that goes on top of the chicken in the casserole, all you need is one can of, of cream of chicken soup and then one eight ounce tub of sour cream. And then you're just gonna mix those together. thing. Ugh, that looks so gross. This is not a healthy recipe by any means, but if you're looking for something that's like comfort food, this is it. Sour cream. whole thing and now just mix that all together okay this looks so gross Like I said, I've never made this before, so I don't know what it's supposed to look like. I guess this is right. Um, okay, so that's what it's looking like. And now we just 
sit that aside until the chicken is done and then we'll go from there in the meantime i'm gonna make some more tea because we just ran out so let's do that we use lipton tea um i've used other kind in the past but lipton is my favorite so that's what we use if you're wondering so since these are the smaller tea bags, I use four. And here's a little hack. If you have this kind of stove with the, what are they called, eyes, um, you can stick the tea bag label thing under that so that they'll stay in place. Okay, so my chicken is all cooked and I just drained all the water off of it. Um, and now you need to shred it. I have seen where people use their little mixer things to shred up the chicken. So that's what I'm gonna do so that I can get this thing in the oven. Alright, so now we put the chicken in the bottom of a 9x13 casserole dish. Boom. Okay, spread that all around. Looks good. Now we're gonna spread our mixture over the top of the chicken. Something like that. Then you're gonna crush up one sleeve of rich crackers on top of your casserole. I'm just gonna do it by hand, like right now as I sprinkle it on there. You could um, do this beforehand put the Ritz crackers in a Ziploc bag and crush them with a rolling pin, but I'm just gonna do it this way. And I like to have some bigger pieces of Ritz crackers anyway. So just crunch up all of your Ritz crackers and make sure that there are Ritz crackers on every part Now melt your half a stick of butter in the microwave and then we're gonna pour it on top. So now pour your stick of butter, or half stick of butter, all over your casserole. And it should look something like this. And we're gonna put it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 to 30 minutes and you don't want to cover this you want to get all the Ritz crackers nice and brown and while the chicken is in the oven I'm gonna heat up this can of French style green beans just keeping it easy
So now I'm going to start baking. Um, I'm gonna make banana bread and I'm using a new recipe that my friend sent to me and I'll have it, I'll try to link it down below too. But um, yeah, I have these three bananas that are looking really rough. So I'm gonna make some banana bread. Got my bowl. Okay, so first we're just gonna mash up our bananas. Oh my gosh, they're falling apart. I wonder if these things are too ripe. Oh boy, they're mushy. Now we're gonna melt our butter and add it to the banana. And in the meantime, you want to go ahead and butter your loaf pan. Mine's non-stick, but I'm gonna butter it anyway. So add your butter to the banana. Next, baking soda and salt. One teaspoon of baking soda. And then a little bit of salt. Okay, so I'm gonna do half a cup of sugar. And I'm using coconut sugar instead of regular white sugar, but you can use whatever you want. Half a cup of sugar. We need to beat our egg. So add that in there now. One teaspoon vanilla. One teaspoon. So we're gonna mix that all in first. Break up the sugar. That vanilla smells so good. And mine looks a little dark, but that might be because of the sugar that I used, so. We will see. So now we're gonna add in one and a half cups of flour. And now we're just gonna mix all that together. I might should be using something other than a fork, but I'm already using it, so whatever. all mixed in. So now we're going to add it to our loaf pan. I need a spatula. 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 Uh, it's all right. Yeah. 
you can add walnuts, um, chocolate chips, whatever you want. I'm just going to do it plain. Yummy. My casserole is looking good in there. And it's only got 43 seconds left, so whenever that's done, I'm going to pull that out and then put the banana bread in there. And it's going to cook for like an hour, so it works out good. So this is what the casserole looks like. Just got it out of the oven. It looks so good. And then we got our green beans. And then, oh, you can't see it, it's so dirty. But um, the banana bread is in the oven now. What the freak would we do without the office, man? I really don't know. Had a brain moment there. A brain moment? I put your cup in my, on my cup holder. 